Let's take a minute, we're going to walk through the uh, system settings menu on the AVHX 1600 DVD. So I'm going to start with the radio turned off and I'm going to touch the home button here and we're going to go over to the system settings menu, that's the gear on the bottom here. And here we have a number of things to work with. First up is auxiliary input and AV input and these two are very similar. Uh, right now they're both switched on and that means I'm going to see auxiliary input and AV input on my source list. So when I touch the home button or when I use the drop down source list, I will see auxiliary input and AV input. If I don't want to see those things on that list, I can switch them off. But I like to use those things in my car, so I'm going to switch them on. Next up is our device connection. Right now it is set to iPhone. So if you're going to use an iPhone 4 or 4S connected to this radio to run apps, you would use this on iPhone. If you uh, want to use the optional uh, AVIC U250 navigation system, with the 1600, you'll switch this to navigation. Right now we're going to use it uh, connected to an iPhone, so we're going to leave device connection set to iPhone. Next up are our mirror link settings. You can see right now that these are grayed out because I don't have a mirror link phone connected to this radio, but for more information on the mirror link settings, be sure to check out the mirror link settings video. Next up is our firmware update. We'll touch that. If you have a firmware update available for this radio, you would put it onto a USB and hit the continue button. We'll go back and we'll scroll down. Next up is our mix track setup. And for more information on the mix track settings, check out the mix tracks video. We'll walk you through that. Next up is our picture adjustment. And right now the radio is turned off and the parking brake is engaged and we can see the picture adjustment. Here we can see the picture adjustment for the uh, operating system screen and we can see the picture adjustment for the rear view camera and you can switch between those things here. If you have a rear view camera attached, you'll be able to make adjustments to your camera image. We'll go back. Next up uh, is our system language. Right now it is set to English. Be careful here what language you choose. If you don't speak another language, it might be difficult to switch back to English. Next up is our demonstration mode. Here you can switch demonstration mode on or off. Most people like to keep the demonstration mode switched off in their car. Next up is our mute or attenuate system. Right now there is no mute or attenuation on. We can switch that to completely uh, mute or we can have it attenuate or drop the volume of the music to a different level. We're going to switch that off for right now. You'll find this very useful if you have a navigation system uh, installed with this radio. Let's scroll down. Our rear speakers are right now set to, uh, to output full range. We can adjust that to have them switch to subwoofer only or back to full range. Next up is our keyboard uh, for operating apps in the car. Next up is Everscroll and right now Everscroll is switched off. Uh, if I switch that on, you'll see song title data and so forth scroll across the screen continuously. If you don't want to see it scroll across the screen continuously, scroll across once or twice and then stop. You can leave Everscroll turned off. Next up is our camera polarity. Right now it's switched off. Now this is for the backup camera. Uh, if we install the optional backup camera, you can have the camera switch on with a battery or with a ground or we can switch the camera off. If you've installed an optional backup camera, be sure to use this switch so you can operate the camera when you put the vehicle in reverse. Next up is our auto EQ measurement and for more information on operating the auto EQ with the optional CDMC20 microphone, check out the auto EQ video. And then we have our video signal setting here. These are all set to automatic for right now. That might be a good idea to keep them that way. Most users in North America will either use the auto or the NTSC settings. So we'll switch that back to auto and we'll go back and that is the bottom of the list.